Shalom, 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 shalom. Before we even get started in this listen, first and foremost, want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, who rule well. And third, want to give salutation to all the Akim that's of the hopeful elect that pushing forth this word and this truth in righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, 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 shalom. And um, <clears throat> I was just checking out uh, this video. I ain't see all of the video, all right, uh, from all the uh, elder, beloved elder, um, elder Manat Zotbach off his GMS South Carolina 08 page. And um, as y'all can see here, trash comedian versus the Hebrew Israelites jokes on you. And I was also seeing um, the response video from El Pastor R about, because uh, he did a video as well to responding to the um, to the elder uh, uh, um, Manat Zotbach video. Matter of fact, let me uh, get to the subscriptions real quick and pull that video up. El Pastor R. And El Pastor Hart did a video, a response video to it four hours ago. All right. And, it, and it's entitled, They Have Received a Script and a Bag to Clown the Israelites, which is true. I believe that. I believe that as well, too, what's being done as well, too. Because you got all these damn clowns, all right, of Israel trying to debunk the truth, man, trying to debunk the so called Negroes, so called Latinos, so called Na Native Americans are the true children of Israel. And we all know that's set up by Esau. Do we have proof of that? No. But, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but through the spirit, you know, all of a sudden, all these niggas trying to attack the Hebrew Israelites at the end of the day or whatnot. So it, we don't believe that that's a coincidence at the end of the day. You know, you got your, uh, what, is, what that nigga named uh, Tariq Nasheed, that clown nigga. Never liked that nigga any damn way. You got what, Anton Daniels, you know, Lil Dow looking ass nigga. You know, and and um the video... Uh, Elba not the Zotbop, you know, going in on these two corny ass fucking comedians and shit, trying to use Israel as material content, trying to debunk us as the Hebrew Israelite, trying to make mockery out of us. But at the end of the day, man, all that gonna come to naught at the end of the day, man. All right, because them stupid niggas, one thing they don't understand, you are gonna find yourself fighting against your how about him, your shot himself, man. All right, and that gonna be a sad loss right there, bro. Okay, ain't gonna ain't gonna be a fight, man. Okay. All right, but nevertheless, <clears throat> but nevertheless, that's the video El Pastor Hart did four hours ago, you know, pretty much in response um, to Elder Manata Zotbot video he did uh, a little over 13 hours ago. Now, I'm going to play a little bit of this video here. Of course, we all know this fair use right here. Okay, the fair use act, what, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to play a couple of, you know what I'm saying, minutes of this video right here, and then we're going to go ahead and go into the scriptures, man. No. You haven't seen them? No. Y'all know what black Israelites are? No. Okay, some people do, some people don't. I love telling people what black Israelites are. Okay, so listen. And another thing, too, we don't call ourselves the black Hebrew Israelites, man. All right? We call ourselves the Hebrew Israelites. That's who we are. We're the Hebrew Israelites at the end of the day. All right? Okay, we the biblical people of the Bible or the book, God's chosen people, so called Negroes, so called Latinos. So called Native Americans to you, so called Mexicans, man. Okay? We are the true children of Israel. All right? <clears throat> black Israelites is like a group of black people. There's like six or seven of them. <laughs> like I said, it's not a group of black people, man. You know, it's showing how ignorant this stupid, these stupid niggas are at the end of the day. First of all, you're going to go in, if you're going to go in on the Hebrew Israelites, do, do the scholarship, do the research, man. Niggas just be talking out their ass at the end of the day. You ain't no, it's not, it's not a so-called black thing. We over here at Great Millstone, can't speak for the other Israelite camps, but over here at Great Millstone, you know, we let you know, this is not about a all pro-black thing over here, all right? And it's not about color because you're going to have Israelite foreigners, you're going to have Israel, they're going to be coming out the other nations, they're going to be looking like the other nations. So this truth ain't predicated on no fucking color. It's a bloodline thing, man. And everything is predicated off of faith. At the end of the day, man, through the spirit of your high bashimal was shot, all right? Clowns. Corner, right? And they just yell at white people. That's all. And, and they think they're Jewish for some reason. And, and this sounds cool. Yeah, El Pastor Hart said, man, we don't call ourselves Jewish at the end of the day. All right, are we the Jews at the end of the day? We say we are the Hebrew 
Israelites, man, because the Jew, Judah, you know, the Jews, that, that's one tribe at the end of the day, man. It's 11 other tribes, man. So see, like I said, man, these, these clowns, boy, they don't even do the research. They don't do no scholarship at the end of the day or whatnot. But you have stupid niggas that sit there and follow them along, though, man. All right? But the scripture tell you the simple. They believe of every word at the end of the day. All right? But the elect would not be deceived at the end of the day. All right? Like, how wish I said, my sheep is going to hear my voice at the end of the day, man. You know? And see, this truth, yeah, how about Shemal Rashad? <clears throat> the hottest thing, the hottest topic, you know what I'm saying? What's trending is the Hebrew Israelites, man. And it's been trending since 2007, man. All right? 2024, everybody knew about the Hebrew Israelites at the end of the day at this point. Everybody and their mama, you know? And Esau, like I said, man, he set up these false prophets amongst Jake of the circumcision, but he also set up these other clown ass fucking Jake that's not in the truth to attack, to go up, to go up against the Hebrew Israelites at the end of the day. But none of that shit is going to prevail at the end of the day. Prophecy is going to fulfill, man. And ultimately, man, Yahweh Shem Shah, you weirdo niggas, you niggas are weirdos, man. Yahweh Shem Shah going to remove you weirdo niggas out of the way, man. All right? So, you know, you niggas just... Uh, make go ahead and poke your fun, make mockery, but you're gonna be held accountable for all your works, man. All your deeds, every word that you say, you're gonna be held accountable for it, man. There's one main dude that's the preacher, okay? He's going to talk about devil white bitch, fuck the white bitch. He's, he's just going, like, freestyling on white people, right? But that guy sucks. There's another guy, though. He has another megaphone. It's smaller. And he's just doing ad libs in the background. That guy fucking rocks. This guy is just in the background going, talk to him, my brother. You know what? I, I want to see what the jokes you niggas going to tell during the time of Jacob's shovel, man. What what type of jokes you going to be telling during the time of Jacob's shovel, man? All right? These fucking clowns, boy. I tell you, man. You Jake, boy. Right there. Go ahead, brother. All right. Hey, Jacob, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, Jacob, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, Jacob, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my friend is Asian, okay? We're walking down the street. The one, the main preacher, we walk into some black Israelites. The main preacher starts going, I see you with that white bitch, my brother. <laughs> Follow yourself with that white devil bitch, my brother. With that white devil milk cricket bitch, my brother. That's hilarious. That's funny. So, so my friend, she's one of those girls that don't understand. You don't argue with crazy people. She, I'm not even, what? Like, so she goes... She turns and goes, I'm Vietnamese. He goes, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and the alley guy goes, talk to that Chinese white bitch. I see those black Israelites. And that nigga probably got about 10 people, 10 motherfucking people out there in the audience, man. He probably got about 10 people in the audience. And five of them he probably can to, all right? Uh, on 6th Street. If you've never seen the black Israelites, I'm going to tell you how it is. Black Israelites, it's a group of black people, okay? <laughs> five or six of them. They just hang out downtown. They're dressed like Ninja Turtles. And they just <laughs> yell at white people. That's all they do. They just crack a hole, just going off on white people for no reason. And they think they're Jewish for some reason. I don't know how that ties into the whole lore of it. And, it, and they had the same material, just like El Pastor Har was going into. These niggas had the same fucking material. They reading from the same script at the end of the day. But y'all know how that going, man. Y'all can watch, you know, I, that's enough watching these fucking corny ass fucking comedies and shit, man. Y'all, y'all niggas make, y'all niggas make Kevin Hart look like Richard Pryor, man. And Kevin Hart, to me, he's not funny at all to me, man. You know, he's corny as fuck to me, Kevin Hart. But compared to these two stupid niggas right here, man, these two, this, these two non-funny ass niggas, man, I can listen to Kevin Hart all damn day, man. You know what I'm saying? Compared, compared to these two stupid niggas. But see, Let's check this out. <clears throat> you dudes ain't the first one to do that shit, man. You had this nigga here. <clears throat> you had this clown nigga right here. Ricky Harris, man. Ricky Harris. Ricky Harris, man. You know, he tried to make mockery of the Hebrew Israelites as well, too. All right? Yeah, you see his born day. And you see his death day as well, too, right? All right? And it wasn't shortly after he made mockery of the Hebrew Israelites the most high zap his stupid ass, man. All right? You know? 
So, you know, you don't think the most I can do the same to you clowns? He's going to do worse, to, worse to, um, to you niggas. All right. Yeah, Ricky Harris, man. Let's check out. Let's check out the video he did with Omar. I mean, <clears throat> with uh, with Elps, Michael Elps. Uh, what was his nigga name? I don't know what the nigga name is. Uh, Mike Elps, I believe. I think, yeah, Mike Elps. You know what I'm saying? The little parody video he did to try to mock the Hebrew Israelites. Let's see how well that worked out for Ricky Harris. Because Ricky Harris did the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's see how well that worked out for Ricky Harris, man. When you're trying to make mockery of the Hebrew Israelites at the end of the day or whatnot, man. Let's check. Let's check that out. Let's check that out, man. Where we at with it? Ricky, ha Ricky Harris here. Mike Epps and Ricky Harris here. <clears throat> cry later though laugh now but cry later man look at his ass man like i said look how that worked out for him man all right niggas ain't t nigga ain't telling jokes now all right yeah this motherfucking nigga ain't telling jokes now man all right <clears throat> let's go and get in some scriptures man all right we're gonna start with proverbs 1 and 22 man it says how long ye simple ones Will ye love slim simplicity? And that's simplicity shit that we've been seeing going on. Niggas making mockery of this truth, man. All right? You know? Not knowing the measure and the time that Yahweh Shema was shot just that close of making this return. We coming into, you know what I'm saying, great judgment, man. All right? Which is called Jacob's trouble, man. All right? So ain't no damn laughing matter, man. All right? Yahweh Shema was coming with great wrath. And he gonna start with the house of Israel. So all them damn laughs and jokes and mirth. Oh, that shit about to be fucking cut out, man. Going back to Isaiah, the 24th chapter, man. Ain't gonna be no mirth in these streets, man. Very, very fucking soon, man. So you niggas go ahead and make your jokes now, man. All right? You know, laugh now, cry later. It says, and the scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge, man. Yeah, they hate knowledge, man. They make a mockery out of knowledge. So they hate knowledge. All right? And it's knowledge. If you take heed, it can be benefit for you for your salvation at the end of the day. This truth, man, is life and death, man. All right, because the doors of mercy is going to close. So you sitting up there making fun, you know, um, not believing in the words of Yahweh Shemal Shah is brought out by his men of the Lord, starting with the elders, apostles, great millstone to the elder bishops on down to us. Man, you know what? Your blood will be on your own head at the end of the day. We're going to continue on to give a warning. All right, but if y'all want to make mockery of the truth, that's on y'all, man. All right. You can't say you ain't being warned at the end of the day. All right. Verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you because I have called and ye refuse. I have scratched out my hand and no man regard him. But ye have set at north all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. Yep. To tell you, man, you know what I'm saying? He that laughed last laughed the greatest at the end of the day. And Yahweh Shema was shy, man. You know, he's going to use the prophets to be laughing at you stupid clown niggas. 
You know what I'm saying? It says, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear coming. And see, we laughing at this, ha, 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 this stupid clown right here. You know what I'm saying? You know? All right, he ain't here now. He back in the spiritual realm now. All right, laughing at his dumb ass, man. All right, he was making mockery. He thought it was funny. He thought that shit was cute. Making mockery of the Hebrew Israelites. All right, which he's a Hebrew Israelite, his, his own damn self. All right, you know? But he want to be a clown. And look where that got him at. Look where they landed him at, man. Land him right back in the spiritual realm. So we laugh at his stupid dumb ass, man. All right? Hey, we're going to laugh at the rest of you fucking clowns, man. When you how about your shot, bring judgment upon you dumb niggas, man. All right? Let me get... <clears throat> let me get Proverbs 14 and 12. And it's red. It says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. Let me read again. Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yeah, the end thereof are the ways of death because ultimately when you're denying your nationality, you denying the truth, all right? You denying your Habashim, your Habashah, and you niggas justifying the fucking wicked, that's fucking death at the end of the day, man. Now, it seems right in your mind because you're getting laughs, you know what I'm saying? Esau may give you a little bag or whatnot, you know what I'm saying, you know? But you think you're funny. All right, at the end of the day, it says there is a way which seemeth right unto a man. So it seemed right unto your feeble fucking mind at the end of the day. But the end thereof are the ways of death. So you, you niggas not even considering knowing that you fighting against the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah at the end of the day or whatnot, you know? All right, you setting yourself up from judgment, man. You setting yourself up for a judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. And you clowns don't even fucking realize that at the end of the day. All right, Proverbs 17 and 15. He that justifies the wicked. Yeah, so whenever you say we're not the Hebrew Israelites, in essence, you're saying those people over there in the land today, them small hats are the true people of Israel, which that's a fucking lie. All right, you niggas adding and taking away from the scriptures, not even knowing. All right, it says he that justifies the wicked. So you want to justify Esau because you still want to get them crumbs off his goddamn table. It says he that justifies the wicked and he that condemneth the just. So when you condemn the, the Hebrew Israelites, all right, you trying to make us like we wicked, we going off. All right, you know what I'm saying? It says, even they both are abomination to the Lord. Yeah, how about you, how about you? So y'all are straight abomination. Y'all are straight, <clears throat> straight abomination to your how about you, how about you? At the end of the day or whatnot, man. Okay? All right, justifying the fucking wicked. The scripture tell you no joining hand with the wicked. The wicked shall not go unpunished, man. And we know why a lot of you niggas are doing that, man. Like I say, man, you niggas want to go ahead and get them crumbs off of Esau goddamn fucking table at the end of the damn day. But all of it gonna come to knock, man. Like I said, you gonna find yourself fighting against your how about you, shot himself, man. All right? And, and let me get an account in Acts, man. Where that shit, <clears throat> where you had Gamilio, you know what I'm saying, speaking to these wicked-ass Pharisees that wanted to put hands on the on the apostles, man. Or your how about you, how was shot. And Gamilio, he was the only one with wisdom. You know what I'm saying? We're going to read this account. And, and he knew through the spirit, like, hey, bro, you go up against these men here and you have about your shot with them. Hey, I'm on. I ain't want to I ain't want to jump the gun. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and let's read it. This right here, Acts 5 and 34. And, and this right here goes for you goddamn clowns that try to come up against the truth, man. All right. This, this is what y'all doing as well, too. This is the penalty that y'all under as well, too, man. All right. You know, you're going you're gonna to find yourself, man. You're looking at us as just men, all right? But we true believers of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, starting the those apostles, a great millstone on down, man. You know what I'm saying? You come up against us, hey, man, you come up against the little ones, man, the true believers of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. You can find yourself coming up against Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, bro. And like I said, y'all don't want that fucking smoke, man. Y'all don't want that smoke. That definitely ain't about to work out in y'all favor at the end of the day. Most high gonna bring your greatest fear upon you, man, all right? And there ain't gonna be no laughing at him, all right? You ain't, you ain't gonna be telling no jokes, you how about your mouth with shot? You're gonna be the fucking joke, man. Most I'm gonna be laughing at your ass. We, and the men law gonna be laughing at your ass when most I bring judgment upon you dumb niggas, man. All right? <clears throat> Acts 5 and 34. And it's read. Then stood there up one in the council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a doctor of the law, had a reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space. Yeah, he only wanna had some sense, man. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. hold off what y'all gonna try to do, you know what I'm saying, to the men of the Lord, man. All right, to the apostles, hold off. All right. And he and he was reasoning 
with them, man. See, them niggas ain't had no them wicked Pharisees. They had no, you know, they 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 wasn't willing to reason, man. They wanted to, to be carnal, all right, and put their hands on the men of the Lord, man, all right. Cause they, cause, cause them niggas they hated, <clears throat> they hated Yahweh Shah, man. All right, so of course they hated Yahweh Shah. They are gonna hate the men that come in the name, come in the spirit of Yahweh Shah. Nothing no different today, bro. All right, nothing no different today. These spirits are still back today, bro. Same spirits that mock us for calling on the name of Yahweh Shah. And hey, they back here today, bro. All right, and they are gonna get the freaking judgment, man. Verse thirty five and said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye attend to do. As touching these men, for for before these days rose up, Theodos Theodos boasted himself to be somebody, to whom a number of men about four hundred joined themselves, who were slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. Yeah, because Theodos was nothing but a man. He was a man, a carnal man, a rebel. All right, and Yahabashim was shy. Was most I didn't send this nigga, man. All right, and look what happened to him, man. All right, they were slain and, and the people that followed him were scattered. All right, it says after this after this man rose up, Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing, and drew away much people after him. He also perished. See, when you how about your shine with you, man, and you ain't got that you ain't got that covering, and that was gonna happen, man. All right, your ass gonna get put the goddamn fucking death. You how about your shine ain't gonna fucking defend you, man. Okay, it says he also perished, and all even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. And now I say unto you, all right, a hey, this is the point right here, verse 38 and 39. It says, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. See, and, and, and Gamaliel gave two examples. All right, if these men, if Yahabash and Malshah ain't dwelling with these apostles, guess what? Whatever they're doing, they're going to come to north at the end of the day, all right? Most are going to bring judgment upon them, all right, if he's not with them. But if you go up against them, all right, verse 39, but if you be of, but if you be of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, ye cannot overthrow it. So you niggas can make jokes, make mockery, all right? You know, you can say we're not the Hebrew Israelites, we're not God's chosen people. You can say that all the fuck you want, man, all right? You're not going to stop prophecy for fulfilling, man. All right, you're not gonna stop the judgment. How about Shimon Shah about the brain? You're not gonna stop Jacob's trouble for you dumb asses out there, bro. All right, but just because you say you're not a Hebrew Israelite, don't mean you're gonna make it true, dummy. We are the Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay, all right, and we pray we are the hopeful elect of Israel, and you niggas are Israelites too. You just wicked ass Israelites, man. All right, they're gonna have that everlasting shame, and you niggas gonna die on this side here, man. Yeah, about your machine gonna defend you niggas, man. You niggas gonna die on this side. You're gonna catch a judgment, man. And righteously so. Alright, you wicked rebels, man. You you wicked rebellion ass niggas, man. When you when you talk, when you talk about rebellion, niggas, you you, you know what I mean the more the more you get seasoned, the more years you're in this truth, man, the more years go by you in this truth, you can definitely understand and you can see crystal clear. You can see HD clear, man. Why two thirds gotta fucking go, man. You can see why you how about your machine gonna destroy two thirds, boy. All right, but it says, but if ye be of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh verse thirty nine. But if ye be of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh ye cannot overthrow it. Less happily ye be found even to fight against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh See, that's the point. All right, find yourself fighting against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh himself at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right, <clears throat> and that's the point. And that's the point right there, man. Okay, I might <clears throat> might end on that one. Matter of fact, let me get let me get Galatians real quick, man. Galatians, man. Get Galatians real quick. Let me just end on this right here. All right, because we done bought we done bought the point out here. Galatians 6 and 7, man. It says, Be not deceived. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So you ain't getting away with nothing. You talk to your damn bullshit right now. All right, you know. But guess what, man? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah got a date, got a time, man. The way he going to bring judgment upon your punk ass, man. All right, you know, and ask your boy, <clears throat> ask your boy, Ricky Harris, how that shit worked out for him, man. He made mockery of the Hebrew Israelites. <clears throat> Shalak, Shalak. He made mockery of the Hebrew Israelites. Him <clears throat> and, and old boy Mike Epps, man. All right, and most I gonna get up, get get Mike Epps fucking ass too, man. Get your ass too. Most I ain't forgot about you, nigga. Unless you repent. 
All right? You know, but most I going to bring judgment upon your ass too, Mike Epps. Nigga, you ain't innocent neither, man. You ran across some Hebrew Israelite camps. All right? I believe the brothers from L.A. And when they seen you, they cut your black ass out, nigga. All right? And when, and when Ricky Harris passed, your ass was nervous as hell because the brothers told you why that nigga passed. Most I took his ass out for making mockery of the Hebrew Israelites, man. Your ass had some fear on your ass too, man. All right? You know? But nevertheless, man, you know, you reap, you know what I'm saying? You're you going you gonna, to... <clears throat> Let me get it again. Let me get it again. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is not mock. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, man. All right? Yeah, December the 26th, 2016, man. Yeah, yeah, you're going to reap that, man. He, re he reaped that. And, they, and, you know, they don't just go for him. Go for rest of you two-third niggas too, man. All right? Think, thinking it's cool to make mockery of the truth, to make mockery of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh <clears throat> man, you gonna you you, hey, you most I'm gonna give y'all niggas that work too. Like you gave this nigga that work. Ricky Harris ass, man. Okay. And with that, man, that's the end of my list and I pray and I hope that it was edifying. And with that, I wanna say shalom, shalom to the whole four like shalom, shalom, shalom.